want to fucking work on our own selves. We like to talk about healing generational curses when we ain't healing shit because we perpetuating the same shit that we talking about we working on by doing the same shit over and over and being quiet about it. We sitting here being quiet about shit that we supposed to be being loud about. You want to live a certain type of way. You want to do a certain type of thing. But if you don't speak it into existence, then you will never be it ever ever you want to laugh at me you want to clown me you want to call me fake you want to call me all of these names but i'm sitting here doing the real work you have never seen never ever seen nobody who has come up out of carbonation regain their spirituality regain their individuality regain who they are that is not okay and i'm not standing for it and i'm going to be the one to be on this social media to tell them you can literally regain your power back the only reason why you are confused because the devil the devil is the author of confusion you see you see the devil in my room right now if you don't understand why are you even here if you don't understand why are you even here why do you even give your energy to something that you feel like that you don't agree with because you're a demon only demons do that only people who have negative energy in their hearts do that only people who are demonic sources do shit like that demons give their energy to negative shit so if you looking at me and you think you see negativity or you think you see a demon and you giving me energy and you doing all of this shit in my life you're a fucking demon and you are being played back to yourself you're going to have to get off a line and understand what the fuck shit that you did you, you going to have to look in the mirror. I'm already looking in the mirror. Every fucking day I get up, I look in the mirror. Not for only myself, but for humanity. Humanity. I am a humanitarian. I am a life path. Nine. I have a stellium in my chart with five planets in Aquarius, all backed up by fourth house, which is Cancerian. I am a mother of humanity. I am literally here to help heal and restore humanity psychologically. And when people come to my inbox asking me about their confusion of what they had going on in carbonation, and then I ask them, if they are willing to openly talk about this shit because everything was all put online. Everything that happened in carbonation was put online. We need to get on social media and talk about this openly, period. Because this, this shit is online. This shit is online already. People are being misled. It's not only about you. It's about humanity. It's about letting other people know out here that this shit is real. That it exists. That we actually went through something. And we're not just sitting here faking. We're not sitting here faking, crying about it. This man literally, it wants to silence. The devil wants to silence the God in us. <coughs> <coughs> the demons want to silence us and it won't <coughs> it won't the demons won't silence me i don't give a fuck you could put me through any anything you could say anything about me you could do all you want about say anything you want i know what's going on in my life I know the mission that I'm on. I know my purpose in life. I know what I have to do for myself. I know what you need. You. I know what you need because I went through it for you. I literally went through it for you. Literally. <clears throat> you sit here and you ask me questions about spirituality do you really want to know do you really want to know do you really want to heal generational curses do you really want to work on yourself if you don't you'll keep tuning in you'll keep tuning into the demons you'll keep tuning in you'll keep being misled and you'll keep being confused remember the devil is the only author of confusion everything that i say everything that i am everything that i bring to the table everything that nature boy hid from you is the truth the truth nothing that I, that comes out of my mouth is a lie nothing that comes out of my mouth brains as a as a motherfucking negative energy or vibration and if you perceive it to be that way you are a fucking devil within it within the physical flesh you are a demon period period you don't have to be here people who actually want to work on themselves should be here the only reason why i'm giving my energy right now because of one person one one person one person 
who was misled. Y'all don't get it. People say, oh, that's your decision. You made that decision. Yeah, I made that decision unknowingly. Just like you made decisions in your life unknowingly. I was young. I was young. I didn't know, have no experience for real, for real. I didn't have no knowledge for real, for real. And you blame me? You blame me for making that decision and you call out my motherfucking flaws and you say, oh, you stupid because of this. I don't have room to grow. I don't have room to... You are a fucking hypocrite and you are a fucking demon. You went through a whole bunch of shit in your life. And you sit there and you make fun of me and you say that I'm stupid for making the decision that I made. You stupid for making the same decision that you make until this very day because you probably got the information that you needed to reach, repent from your ways, but you ain't because you're weak, because you're a demon, period. You don't have nothing else to live for because you literally gave all your energy to negativity, which is the same thing that Nature Boy is doing, which is the same thing that he's trying to turn everybody else into who he reels in. Remember, he's only targeting the youth. He's not targeting people who literally sit there with information. He's not targeting old order motherfucker. He's not targeting the nation of Islam. He's not targeting all of these spiritual you know, influencers. He's targeting p young children who don't have nothing, who don't know nothing because he has feel like he can have more control over their mind to put into what he wants to put into their minds. Then when he puts it in their mind, then he sit there and say, oh, don't say nothing. Don't say nothing about me. Don't do this about me. Don't do that about me so that he can silence you so that he can literally feel like he have control over you. And you know what these people go through in their lives? Do you know what these people in carbonation go through in their lives? They literally are in mental prisons. They literally continually feeling, feeling motherfucking confused about life now. Literally. And they have no one to talk to. They have no one to turn to. And they, they don't know who to turn to. They can't trust nobody no more. They literally psychologically are fucked up from the shit and you can sit there and tell somebody to go to therapy all day long you can sit there and tell somebody to do this and do that but that shit ain't gonna matter when it comes to spirituality are we talking about spirituality here is that psycholog is that psychologist talking to me about my spirituality can that psychologist give me answers towards my my psycho my spirituality fuck no Fuck no, because that psychologist is not even on its spiritual path. It's not even doing the shit that it, that entity needs to do to upgrade their consciousness. Literally. 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 Those people are not happy. Those people are not being themselves. Period. Period. Y'all not gonna tell me to be quiet. Y'all not gonna make me be quiet. Every chance I get, every chance I get, you thought I was done? You thought I was done? I'm not done. I'm not done by a long shot. By a long shot. You have yet to see the real fucking me. And if you hate me now, you're going to hate me for sure later. So you might as well block yourself, period. Because one thing I'm not going to do is sit here quiet and let all everybody else who <clears throat> I had experiences with be silenced at the same time. You cannot silence God's people. You can't. You can't. I sit here and I can say that I'm a child of God because I have a direct connection with the Supreme Source. Period. God knows everything. God sees everything. God is everything. So anything that I do in my life, you don't have to say shit about. You don't have to say shit about because I'm already doing what I got to do. The only reason why you mad at me is because I'm doing what I got to do in your front of your fucking face. And you can't p have enough balls to pick up your own motherfucking life and do what you need to do for yourself. Period. I am not going to allow people to come into my inbox asking me what they think that they should do exit a, a, just from being out of carbonation and then feeling afraid to be open to talk about what they went through. I'm here to tell you. I'm literally here to tell you that you don't have to be afraid. You are protected by the most high. If you are a child of God, nothing can fuck with you. Everything will become a footstool for you, period. You know, the people who go through it the worst, the people who go through have it the hardest, the people 
You know people hate me more than they hate Nature Boy and this nigga is the motherfucker who is fucking over everybody's life? Do you know that? Anybody who is hated the most, anybody who is motherfucking ostracizing and call names and all this and all that, you don't think God is looking down upon this whole thing? You don't think that God is sitting right here on his life with us? You don't think that, that God understands all of our hearts and all of our intentions? You are stupid. You are stupid. I'm not stupid. Because even though I was in that situation, at least, at least, at least I had enough spirit, God energy with inside of me, the God that's inside of me to pick myself up and pray and ask for guidance. And I was guided out of there because of my mind, because of who I naturally am, because I'm already was born a child of God, period. My entire name, my entire name literally means child of God. You can't tell me. My name literally means graceful child of God. You cannot tell me that I am demonic. You, you, the only person who can sit here and call me demonic is the motherfucker who's demonic. You are demonic and you pointing yourself, your finger back to yourself. And you need to face your shit and stop blaming it on other people and stop being stupid and stop being rude. You're being rude. You're being rude. And I speak this because I, I feel like anybody, anybody who speaks up for themselves on the behalf of carbonation and all of the shit that they went through, they'll go through what I'm going through. Because this is a war. This is actual a mental war. This is nature boy versus God. This nigga literally calls himself God and thinks that he's God. He is not God. He is not God. He, he likes to use all of his phrases. You can't box with God and everything is recorded and all of this shit. You are a hypocrite. And, and just because you know you will get it the worst. God, those who know and still do wrong will perish in the fucking internal fucking hell. Period. Those who don't know and then do will be given mercy and be given grace. These people will be looked after. These people will be forgiven. Period. Period. People's lives are literally destroyed by this nigga. Literally. I am not going to sit by and be quiet. I want everybody to know if anybody watches me right now who was in carbonation, speak up for your motherfucking self and don't be afraid of nothing. Just like you sat there and you proclaimed all of his kingdom, you proclaimed all of that shit, you proclaimed all of those demons, all of that negative shit, get your ass up and proclaim God. Get your ass up and proclaim the blessings that you got in your life now that you walked away from carbonation. Get up and speak about that. Get up and tell humanity about the blessings that's in your life. Do you know what blessings are in my life right now from the most high? Because I prayed, because I focused my energy on God and it got me out of that situation. How could I not give thanks? How could I not show my gratitude in front of the face of humanity? I don't give a fuck what platform we on, what I'm streaming. I don't give a fuck. I'm always going to give glory. I'm always going to worship the most high because that is the energy source that is in control. Today or tomorrow, that motherfucker could be like, I want all of this shit gone and it'll be gone. Period. You are not even promised life tomorrow. If God needs to send you a message, it'll take you right out of this existence just so you can get the information and the experience that you need. How could you ever denounce that energy source? How could you ever sit there and, call, and have blasphemy, call blasphemy against it? Then know it's wrong. Get out of the situation. Know that it's wrong and still not say nothing. That is not going to happen. Not on my terms. Not on my terms. Not on my terms. No. If this is too overwhelming for you, go into your little hole and keep perpetuating the negative shit that's in humanity. I came here for a specific purpose. At first, I didn't know what it was because all I felt that I wanted to do was live in nature. I felt like I wanted to restore the planet. I felt like I wanted to help humanity understand themselves more so that we'll stop causing extremities into our life. Needless did I know, not knowing that I had a bigger purpose than what I anticipated. And this shit is feel like it's literally happening to me. I can't sit here and tell you that I know what's gonna happen next. I can't sit here and tell you that 
you know what I'm saying? Whatever you're going through, you're going to be able to get over. But I can for sure, for a fact, be able to sit here and tell you how to get through that shit. Period. Because I'm going through it every fucking day. Every fucking day. People want to constantly talk about how they healing generational curses. You ain't healing shit. You ain't doing shit. And then you sit here and you make fun of me when I get online and speak my heart and speak what I got to say. But you love when I'm silent. You love when I'm quiet. You love that shit. That's what the devil wants. I told that young lady. I said, listen, anytime you feel confused, anytime you feel doubt, anytime you feel any kind of way that is not high vibrational, that is a demon. That is the devil. Period. That's the devil. Period. And don't let, don't let the devil rule you. Speak yourself through that. Understand your own mind through that situation. If you need help, ask for help. Call out for help. Don't just sit by idle and let that sh confusion take over your mind. Because the next thing you know, you're probably going to go back to carbonation. You're probably going to be in a situation where you feel totally disconnected. You don't have no friends. You don't have no network circle. You don't have no nothing. You don't. You can't even real energy into you and financial resources to take care of yourself and your children. Because you done gave all your fucking energy to a source that is demonic. Nature Boy doesn't have no part of me. He done, Nature Boy didn't take no part of me. Nature Boy did not destroy me. Nature Boy did not hurt me. Nature Boy didn't do shit to me. Nature Boy added all of the information that I needed to know in order to help people through this shit. That's what the fuck he did. Sometimes the devil comes to you with information for you to learn. For you to learn. I learned a lot. I'm not going to sit here and keep saying that I'm hurt. Because I'm not hurt. I'm actually happy. I'm happy with all of the things that I know. I literally am happy with everything that I know. Because if I didn't know none of that shit, I would still be going through it. I'm 20 fucking four. 24, I sit before you at 24 with all of this wisdom on my head. If you feel like I'm not, if I don't have wisdom or anything like that, you can get the fuck out of my life. You don't have to listen to me. You don't have to answer questions. I don't force you to ask questions. I don't force you to enter my life. You yourself get on here doing all that hot shit. I didn't even invite you. I didn't even invite you. I'm speaking to those who can hear me because you have to realize and everybody still should realize that all of this shit took place on the internet. This whole ordeal took place on the internet. What does it look like us just being silenced and being quiet when this nigga still on social media fucking a whole sickly person? That shit don't look right. That shit ain't right. Y'all can't tell me that that shit look right and that that shit is right. And y'all sitting here just sitting idle, tapping your fingers, not saying shit, not doing shit. Like, what the fuck? Y'all got me fucked up if y'all think I'm about to just be quiet about this shit. I, I literally, I don't know about another woman out there, but I know about myself. I have a whole daughter by this nigga. I do it for her because she needs to know. People told me you shouldn't make, you shouldn't um paint a picture of who her father is or she needs to get to learn that herself. Did you know that when a, when a woman has a child or when a man has a child, they're there, it's their duty to guide their child? Do you know that? If I go in life and not telling her nothing, not saying nothing to her, not teaching her about shit, she gonna motherfucking go ahead, go over there and go figure some shit out on her own and then get fucked up. I'm gonna tell my child everything she needs to know. Everything. I, I'm going to tell her everything she needs to know about niggas like that so she never get herself caught up. So when she it, it's eventually experienced it, she'll know right from wrong, period. I'm going to teach my child, period. And I don't have to be like, oh, this what the fuck your daddy did. This nigga ain't shit. Da, 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 da. I'm going to simply acknowledge those characteristics and teach her about those characteristics because she needs to know. She's a young woman. Who needs to know about niggas like that? Period. I laid down with him with a portraying of who he, of who I thought he was. See, that's what the fuck y'all don't realize either. Y'all don't realize that this nigga put a, when, see, when you have a child, or when there's a child, right? 
and somebody say, oh, I'm this, I'm that, and and the motherfucking child have rosy glasses on because they, they don't know nothing else, they don't have no experience, but they gonna believe what the fuck somebody telling them. But then when they get themselves in that situation, if they sm the way they mind work, the only way to get them out of that situation if if they mind actually work. That's the only way that that they'll be able to get out of that shit. So but due to the fact that my mind was able to work in that shit and I figured all of it out and now I'm able to help you with some of the shit in your life. You feel what I'm saying? Nigga, I believe this nigga. I believed who he said he was. Because, see, when he got with me, he couldn't do to me. He couldn't treat me how he treat those women. Like, he treat all of us the same, no doubt. Don't get me wrong. But there was a specific way he had to treat me. This nigga had... Y'all think he love bombing Malia. This nigga had to... This nigga, bro. This nigga had to literally create a whole simulation to reel me in the way that he did. See, Malia, on the other hand, and I'm not talking down about her. I'm not talking bad about her. All condolences go to her family and her sisters because I pray for this girl every fucking day. But Malia has low self-esteem. I didn't have low self-esteem when I got with Nature Boy. So he had to play his cards a different way with me. He had to portray himself a different way with me. See, he could get with Malia, fuck her, then tell her, I love you, and then she feel stupid for it and then he go fuck on another woman or add another woman in you see what i'm saying but that's his real demon right there that's his real problem he thought he had a problem out of me no you're gonna have a problem out of malia because this bitch is suicidal let let it be known like i said all all condolences go to her family because i know what they're going through i understand what they're going through i i literally can go there in my mind i was in it i went through it i was there i understand don't get me twisted don't get me wrong i get it but that girl has serious issues mentally i didn't have serious mental issues when i got with him this nigga had to treat me a certain way do you hear what i'm saying do you hear what I'm saying? This nigga had to make me empress. He had to make me empress. Because if he didn't make me empress and then double back and try to do all of that shit, I would have never had a baby with him. This nigga had to trap me. This nigga had to get me pregnant. He don't want to get none of those women over there pregnant. You think he's sitting there trying to get them pregnant? This nigga had all intentions to take all of my energy and portray himself any kind of way that he could to make me believe who he was. And I did fall for it. I did, but once I started figuring that shit out and I started putting two and two together, I didn't want no parts in that shit. So it became a relationship with me and him and being in a relationship with me and him. Then it went from two fucking years, two literal fucking years of me trying to stand up for those other women. Trying to say, don't do that to them. This is the shit he's not going to tell you though. This is the shit he's not going to put online though. I want to appreciate and thank everybody in the room who are sending me gifts right now because that shit is it, it puts the life back inside of me everything is energy you see what i'm saying that shit is energy when i give out energy and y'all send me back energy that shit is an equal exchange and that shit is that's the blessing in my life because my whole entire life all i've been doing is giving energy giving energy you see me give energy to visa you see me give energy to nature boy you see me give energy to all of these motherfuckers there was a whole bunch of motherfuckers that wasn't online who i gave energy to who stepped on it who misused it abused it then double back and tell me that i'm a negative person because they didn't get what they wanted out of me y'all got me fucked up all the way fucked up and i'm not gonna sit here like i said and be quiet about none of this shit because just like he could say that there are black women out there who are against the black man and all of this extra shit they are black men out there who are doing fuck shit guess what our whole reality is ran by a man do you think a woman has a say so no no a woman has no say so. None. This is why the, f the, f the future will be female. This is why women are fighting for their rights. This is why women are doing all of the shit that they're doing. This is why women are taking over in society because men have no balance for a woman. Period. There's only a few men out there who have balance for a woman. But do you think they're online talking about it? No, because their lives don't revolve around social media. They're in their lives, living their lives as they should. But there are people out here for everyone online 
obviously this is supposed to be something that we utilize to network and, and understand each other and get through to each other there are people out here that's going through shit real shit in life that they never get to say online Never get to say online. You want to know why the future is going to be female? Because the female is going to be able to restore the balance between masculine and feminine energy. When she does find that divine masculinity, you think she's going to take that away from him? You think she's going to be like, oh, well, I gave birth. Now, there are some women out there, but God ain't going to let that persist because this ain't the time around for that. This ain't the time around for, oh, somebody have more power than the other. No, this is the time for balance. This is the time for balance, and that is what we're going to see in our reality, period, period, period. But the only way we're going to be able to restore balance is through the divine feminine, period. Once she finds her divine masculine, she's going to give him all the praise. She's going to give him all the glory. She's going to give him everything he needs to uplift him into the man that he needs to be. Not who she wants him to be, but who he needs to be. The man of God to face humanity with themselves so that we can change psychologically. We are not living in the same age and day no more. We are in 2020 fucking one. We are moving into 2022. This is a whole new world. There are more vegans. There are more nomadic people. There are more hippies. There are more all of this shit. All of it. It's all cycling back around. And you're not going to be able to escape from it. You're not going to be able to say that you didn't know because you watched it online. You watched a whole motherfucker go through it online and you sat there, you made fun of her. You sat there and you, and you fucking perpetuated the same generational curse that you so to so quote unquote said that you wanted to change because you couldn't do the real work. Because you did so much fucking negative shit in your life that you felt bad to repent. You felt bad to repent from your ways because you gave that much of your energy to the devil. You traded your soul in. You can't trade me in. You can't hype me up. You can't dick me down. You can't do none of that shit to get me to trade my authenticity in for, for a devil. Period. I am a child of God. Period. And I believe that on this spiritual journey, the reason why Nature Boy is as big as he is online, because this is the wave into the future. This is the wave into the future. And because this is the wave into the future, everybody has to know about it. And that's why it's blasting online. So everybody who's attracted to carbonation are people who are young souls on this journey, who are the leaders of the new world, who are the leaders to show humanity like this is what we're supposed to be doing. But they get caught up with niggas like Nature Boy. It's called a false prophet. God warned us about people like this. This is not something new that we're going through. This is not an act. This is not nothing. This is the fucking literal play out of the of a scene in the fucking Bible. If you don't believe me, go crawl back under your motherfucking rock and be the hermit you are and subject yourself to hell. Because I honestly, honestly, God don't want to save those motherfuckers who literally don't want to save themselves. God only has the eyes for his children, period. God said already that he condemns any energy that is not one with him, who denounces him and it takes himself, it takes themselves away from him and try to, to put themselves above him. It's called a fallen angel. He has a place for you. Period. And every time I get triggered by God to do this, I will. All of the time, I sit there in confliction because I know stupid ass people are gonna have something to say. I know people are gonna sit up here and do stupid shit, say stupid shit, all of this dumb shit. It's just a whole bunch of negativity. Our whole world is filled with negativity and y'all got the audacity to tell me to sit here with positivity? God not happy with your ass right now. God ain't happy with the situation right now. And I'm not either. And I'm not gonna act like I'm just happy about this shit. I am fucking lit off of this shit. I am passionate about it as I should be because niggas are creating children to, and then talking about that they're trying to re, re, rebuild a whole entire new world. Talking about they trying to build in, build, build new human beings and all of this shit and they not doing that. I am fucking passionate about this. 
period. I literally am a woman who is fertile, who is able to give birth. Do you think that I'm just going to sit by with my energy, my mind of God? Literally, I have thoughts from the most high. You think I'm just going to sit by and let this shit go down? And my life was completely blasted on the internet. Fuck no. I'm not going to be quiet about this shit. My life will forever be on the internet. You will always see me on the internet. And if I'm not saying nothing, it's because I'm actually doing the work to heal myself to fucking be what I want to be. I Literally, literally, I am who I am. I'm not who I am for you. I'm not, a part of me is because this is my purpose, but I'm saying I am not me to make people happy. I'm not me to, to fit in. I'm me because this is who I want to be. This is what the way I want to live. People call me and reach out to me telling me to teach them something. I don't have to teach you shit. The only thing I can do is be here as an example. That's the only thing I can do. And if you have questions, then you ask those questions and I might be able to answer them bitches. But, af but after that, you got to live your own life. You got your own decisions to make. You could do whatever the fuck it is that you want to do. Just know this. You're going to have to pay for your actions in the end. Period. And that's why I got to say on that note. <sighs> I appreciate everybody who sent me gifts on Beagle. I don't want to overlook my supporters because my supporters are here. My supporters been here. The people who actually see the shit that's going on. And for you, I'm doing it for you. I'm doing it for the people who are confused out there. I'm doing it for the people who are silenced, who voices are literally silenced. See, you can't silence me. You cannot, God, the devil cannot silence me in whatever form it comes in, period, period. And I won't ever be because that's not what I'm here to do. That's not what I'm here to do, period. I'm here doing it for the people who are confused. I went through all of that shit just, excuse me, just to be a living testimony for those people to watch me go through. To watch me go through it and they come out of it just so they can have somebody to be inspired by. Just so they can have somebody ins to be inspired by because guess what? Nobody's doing what I'm doing right now. You can't sit here and tell me that they are. Not after what I've been through. And it, you could call me arrogant. You could call me black, all of this shit. And I don't have no respect for other people and all of this. You could say all of that shit. But my life is the way that it is for a reason. Literally. Literally. I cannot denounce who I am for another person. I have to stand up in who I am. I have to take on my role as I should and fulfill my purpose. That is my duty. And other people have purposes and they need to go find their purpose. They need to go find it. You need to go find your purpose. That's the message of today. When you are confused, motherfucker, know that that's the devil. Know that that is not God, nothing of God that's heading you into the right direction. And as soon as you feel that, start praying, start meditating so that it can be revealed to you. But you must have the heart of discernment because God could come to you and you could sit there and, 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 and disregard it all day long. And they keep getting the same experiences over and over and over, thinking that you're doing something, thinking that you're actually praying, thinking that you're actually meditating. No, God moves in mysterious ways he moves in the ways that make you feel uncomfortable that you're not really used to doing the shit that makes you afraid see when you gotta go when you afraid of some shit and you be like i don't know how people gonna respond to this i don't know what people gonna think i don't know i might put it might put me on the outskirts da, 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 da. that's god moving through you do what the fuck god tells you to do period period i'm doing everything don't worry about me. See, one lady, she typed on Facebook. She was so profound. She said, what's more important, the message or the messenger? I want to see if you, what, what's your answer? What's more important, the message or the messenger? I'll wait. I'll wait. 
because you sit here and you tell me what you think I should do with my kids. You sit here and you tell me what you think I should do with my life. But what I am, but what I, what I am saying right now, does it not reign to be true to you in some kind of way? You have nothing else to say, but, oh, but you should go take care of your kids when my kids is already taken care of. My kids is taken care of because of the most high. I don't worry because of the most high. Period. The most high told us that I shall not worry or want for anything. That I shall pray and it shall be given unto you if you deserve it. Period. Of, and I just want to say this for the record. Somebody put both. Somebody put both. Listen. The fucking message is important. You better be thankful. You better be... You know what? People are un fucking ungrateful. You ungrateful bitches. And I'm, I'm saying this for the record. I'm saying this for all of the demonic negative motherfuckers out there who are ungrateful because they they have one fucking person that can come to tell them some shit about themselves or t say some truth to them and they have nothing but negative to say after that. You are unfucking grateful and you wouldn't even be able to recognize a fucking child of God, Messiah, prophet, whatever the fuck it is. You wouldn't be able to tell that motherfucker from shit or sugar because you are not healed within yourself you don't have the discernment that you need we literally can hear messages come from out of bum's mouth you stop at a corner and you listen to a bum he might tell you some shit that somebody never told you in your fucking life but did it matter what the fuck he was doing in his life did it matter that he was even standing on that corner after he get after you gave him that dollar was you sitting there saying, oh, you ain't dang rang truth of what you said because I gave you a dollar. Why am I giving you a dollar? The, the fucking point is that you literally got the message that you needed. The message is important. This is why I always say I don't have to teach nobody shit. I don't have to do shit to nobody. The only thing that is my duty is to be myself. Period. Period. And God knows that. So at the end of the day, it is what it is. I don't have to prove nothing to you, and you don't got to prove nothing to me. If you take what I say and reign it to be true, then kudos to you, because you are looking at, look after. But if you don't, that's on you, my nigga. Go live your life. Go do what the fuck you got to do. Go do what you got to do. Don't tell me what I got to do, because my shit is together. All the way together. The only reason why the shit is happening to me, the way that it's happening to me, so I could be a living testimony in the face of humanity. Period. Because ain't nobody going through what I'm going through right now. Literally, I'm hated more than Nature Boy. And this nigga is the corporate. This nigga is the actual devil. People sit there and tell me, Oh, you're the, you're the other half of Nature Boy. Da, 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 da. No, Nature Boy is my false twin flame. That's what the fuck he is. He's a false identity of who I actually am. He tries to portray himself to be what I actually am. Period. And we see that clear as day because what he says and what he does is two different things. Nothing that I've ever said outside of carbonation literally was not an action of mine. Literally. Literally. And everything that I did inside of carbonation that went, but that went after or went against my character, my natural character, I sat on here and I apologized for it and I told you why I did it. And, and deeper than that, fuck an apology. I did that shit and I went through that shit so you could see how motherfuckers are being manipulated on these spiritual journeys. How motherfuckers are trying to be at a young age. At a young age. This is happening to young people. Your old ass is still sitting in your living room not doing shit with your life. And they got children smarter than you going through spiritual shit just so they could be your teacher when that time comes. Feel some type of way. Feel some type of way. I don't give a fuck. Feel some type of way. It is what it is. And we have to have respect for God. That is the message at the end of the day. You have to have respect for God. I don't have no respect for a nigga, person, woman, whatever the fuck, who sits there, tries to portray themselves to be a child of God, and then is not for real, for real. I don't like that shit. I feel like how God would feel if a motherfucker was doing that in my face. If you fuck with me, you fuck with God. And you better be careful because God got a wrath and a place for people like you. Period. Period. Don't believe me? Watch. Keep fucking watching like Nature Boy said. Keep fucking watching. You don't believe me? Keep watching. Keep watching. 
on that note, I appreciate everybody who gifted me. I feel absolutely wonderful. Don't think that I'm going into my life right now on some negative shit because a whole fucking electro whatever the fuck all of this shit been lifted off of me see i have a right to keep purging i have a right to keep healing and i'm not saying that i'm healed all the way completely yet because i still got certain things that i'm going through but best believe i'm getting to that point at least i'm taking one day at a time to get there unlike some motherfuckers who sit there and waddle in their shit and then try to be jealous and mad at other people because they doing it right in front of their face fuck you you can get the fuck off my life. You can get the fuck off my life. I don't need you here. That's another less person that I got to worry about in my face. Because they got a thousand motherfuckers sitting here. And, ha and more than half of them are being snakes. So I'm going. And I'm going to be supreme as I usually am. Even through my darkest moments. And I'm going to reign in my truth. Period. My child is taken care of. And so am I. You don't have to worry about shit. You don't have to worry about shit that's going on in my life. If you don't want to listen to me, you can get the fuck off my life. Period. I appreciate all my supporters, all the people who continually watch me, all the people who send hearts to me, all the people who send in love to me and continue to send love to me, even when they don't hear from me. You are the, the, a, a child of God. If you support me, you support God. Period. And if you don't believe me, keep watching. Because I'm not going nowhere. And I'm not going to stop. This is not stopping. See, I'm not going to be like Nature Boy wants everybody else to be that left, that wants a combination and left. See, I'm about to go do big things with my life, very big things with my life. God has an entire plan for me, a part of the plan that I actually wanted to have for myself. And I don't have to prove that to you. And I don't have to prove, and you don't have to prove shit to me that you're going through in your life. Cause what's for you is what's for you, and what's for me is what's for me. Just know that you don't got to, to, to say shit about me. Cause everything that I'm going through is to is ordained, and it's, it's it's for a reason. And I know it's for a reason. So thank you for the gifts. Thank you for the love. And I'm gonna be out of here, and I'm gonna go give my energy to my daughter like I was when I wasn't online. Period. I just want to say on the last note, anybody out there who feels silenced about their confusion, you need to be vocal about that because the devil wants to silence you. The devil wants to keep you in that confusion so that it can have control over your soul, over your mind, and so that you can be perish, you can perish into the motherfucking depths of hell. If you don't want to be associated with the devil, if you don't want to be associated with demons, thank you for the for the shield, pretty black. I appreciate you. If you don't want to be associate or associate yourself with that shit, I suggest you pray. I suggest you meditate. And I suggest that you get your shit together and do what it is that you gotta do to uplift that um that confusion up out of your life. If you need to ask for thank you for the shield, Supreme. I appreciate you. If you need to um, ask questions. Don't be afraid to ask questions. And if you are a ex carbonation member and you feel confused in any kind of way, you need to get on social media and you need to proclaim God. You proclaim nature boy all the fucking time. Now it's time for you to proclaim God. And now it's time for you to put your thoughts out there because you are anybody who went to carbonation and left. You are a living example. Now you are not to be silenced. You are not to be quiet. Period. You are now a beacon of light to people out there. Who gives a fuck if somebody hates you or not? Who gives a fuck if somebody say that you're stupid or not? Who gives a fuck if people come for you or not? The only thing that matters is that you're doing the will of God. Period. And I love you. And I'm out. So I'm off from, I'm off from Instagram. Because guess what? There's a reason. There is a reason why I am moved to do and say the things that I am.